Hi, welcome back to Movie Recap Zone. Today I'm going to explain a romantic comedy film from 2007 titled Meet Bill. Spoilers ahead, watch out and enjoy. The movie begins and we see Bill preparing for his old high school groundbreaking ceremony. While he's deep in thought, a student rushes into the toilet and begs Bill not to tell the principal of his presence. The principal comes in and asks Bill if he saw any student, which Bill denies and the principal leaves. After the principal leaves, the kid offers Bill some money for his loyalty which Bill rejects and goes to the groundbreaking ceremony. After that Bill walks down the hallway and accidentally hits Jess, his wife, and Chip, someone Jess might be dating secretly. He's immediately suspicious of Chip's relationship with Jess. He later goes to the bank where he works with father-in-law Jacoby and brother-in-law John. Mr. Jacoby introduces Bill to one of his partners who urges Bill to buy a donut franchise. But Jacoby isn't interested. Bill instead calls seeing the catalog for Sweet Sweet on his own behalf leaving his phone number after calling someone regarding the franchise. Suddenly the kid arrives and asks Bill to be his mentor. But Bill says no and leaves. Bill gets home and overhears Jess on a phone call. His suspicion arises, in the kitchen he asks Jess who was on the phone with her. And she says it's her mom. After taking a call from Sweet Sweet to set up a meeting, Bill threatens to call Jess's mom and see if she was really home. Jess hits it off, but Bill is on the edge of obsession, he doesn't believe her. Later that night while watching TV, Bill is disgusted to see his stomach on the news. At work, Bill cuts Chip's picture out of a magazine, and as he jealously mocks the cutout, Jacoby informs him that the three students from the mentor program had been waiting for a short tour. Bill leads them on a quick tour but ends it prematurely. He then goes to Sweet Sweet and meets with the potential investors who approve his financials and invites him to an orientation. Meanwhile, the kid visits a lingerie store and finds a hot attractive cashier girl named Lucy. Later, Bill visits Sargent to buy hunting rifles from Sargent's sporting goods store. At that moment, Bill notices Chip's program advertisement on TV and asks to borrow Sargent's video camera, which he plants in Jess's room to see if she's doing something unfaithful. Later that day, he goes for hunting but turns out that Bill is a terrible hunter. Embarrassing himself, the kid can tell Bill needs help. Anyway, he comes back home to watch the clip from the security camera, but is nearly caught when his wife scales through. Yeah, it's true, Jess was having an injection game with Chip while Bill was not home. In the next scene, Bill storms to Jesse's house and confronts her. He sees Chip on a live broadcast and rushes to the broadcast site to attack him. For invading Jesse's privacy and punching Chip on public he's arrested. By the way, he is labeled as the deranged fan of Chip Johnson because of the cutout image of Chip he kept in his wallet so the sergeant bails him out. The next day when Bill attends a ceremony for the mentorship, he's applauded by the students as he makes his way up. Finally, the kid named John walks up to Bill and says it's fine to still keep him as a mentor, which Bill is still capricious. By the way, the tape has gone wild at Bill's office, but they all try to hide it from Bill's father-in-law. Later Bill runs home and finds Jess distraught. She walks away and says she's going to talk to Chip about his tape, but Bill follows her to Chip's home, retrieving his rifle, and opening fire on Chip's house as she notes that he's a good shot for a man who never brings home ducks. Chip tells them to leave, but Bill pulls him into a fight as a news van pulls up. Bill's fight with Chip's appears on the news, and Bill gets locked up again, and the sergeant bails him out. In the morning Paul invites Bill swimming. After clearing his mind, he goes on a site inspection for the donut factory. Random people shout at him because of his famous issues with Chip. The owners of the franchise then ask to see his office, where they run into the kid who Bill is still mentoring and Bill introduces them to each other, as they converse about Bill joining the Sweet Donuts business. They finally conclude their discussion and end their meeting, but Bill still rejects the kid's request to hang out, but later changes his mind when he sees the kid fixing the bank sign. That night he spies on Chip and Jess. When Chip leaves the room, Bill calls Jess while watching her change, but he's soon joined by the kid. Bill struggles with the kid to stop watching. Jess looks down from her window and sees Bill, but Bill hits it off saying he just came to get his clothes. Jess brings him two bags before telling him to stop spying on her. But my question is how did the kid came here, and why is he even looking at Jess? Anyway, they go out to the shopping mall. The kid plans to get him new clothes, and a new girl to make his wife jealous. The kid offers Lucy a hundred bucks to help him. She starts by having Bill try on new clothes during which she suggests buying. The next night, Bill goes to pick Jess up for dinner. He also gets her some collections, and impressing her with his new clothes. At the dinner, Mr. Jacoby announces his run for mayor and tells them all to behave like a family. After dinner, Jess and Bill go to get coffee. Lucy shows up and flirts with Bill making Jess visibly jealous. Bill later tries to interest her in his sweet sweet franchise, 
but she ignores the offer. Meanwhile, Chip is seen at the house waiting for her. Before she leaves Bill, Jess gives him a kiss and this gets Chip bewildered. At the orientation, the kid and Lucy upset the customers by dipping their finger in the frosting. Jane complains to Jim but he says they need to focus on moving as many franchises as possible. As Bill leaves Jane and Jim tell him they'll finalize the franchise paperwork the following week. In the next scene, Bill, the kid, and Lucy set up some fireworks during his father's picnic party. They play with the fireworks and later go to Sargent's store and climb the rock. As they later play air hockey with Laura, Paul lectures Bill on his recent behavior and says he isn't welcome in their home anymore. In the car, the kid tells Bill to make out with Lucy's friend that night and change his story of sticking to just one person. Since he has nowhere else to go, he sets up a tent in Paul's backyard. They get high at the tent, and Lucy's friend tries to attract Bill with his hotness. Bill later worries that he still needs Jess's signature for the franchise paperwork and relaxes in the water. Later, Bill attends Jacoby's announcement picnic with Lucy, but suddenly, the kid sees Jane and Jim there. Bill freaks out and tells Lucy and the kid they need to leave. Bill tries to grab Jess on the way, but two security men grab Bill to throw him out for violating a restraining order. After this, Bill drives carelessly and steers off the road when some ducks ran into the middle of the road. As Jacoby takes the stage for his announcement, the fireworks pops out of the car causing a massive spectacle. The attendees is called to the site and they go to see what's wrong. Bill immediately flees the scene. The kid finds Bill walking down the road and picks him up, but still gets stuck in the traffic. Later, Lucy gives the kid his money back and says he doesn't need to pay her to hang out. He tries to kiss her but she's only interested in being friends. See, I told you this kid is perverted. Later, Jess visits Bill at the hospital where he explains to her that he is already fed up with depending on Jacoby for a livelihood. Bill isn't sure he wants a donut shop anymore, he says that he loves Jess, but he hates the life they share. The next morning, he cuts his hair before going to the office to quit his job. He directly tells Jacoby that he doesn't belong in his company. Despite being a decent shot he believes sport hunting is wrong. Jacoby respects Bill's honesty and wishes him luck. Later, Bill goes to Sweet Sweet and surprisingly finds that the franchise has been given to him after Jess convinced the company. But Bill doesn't want the franchise anymore, he lets Jess have the franchise, telling her he needs to figure out what kind of life he wants. They both agree to separate peacefully, and they put up the house for sale. Up next, Bill goes to meet the kid at school. He's not going to be his mentor anymore since he had left the company. He tells the kid he'll miss him. They hug each other the final goodbye. Before leaving, he tells the kid to check his locker. The kid goes delightfully to the locker, exploding with fireworks. A final parting gift from his mentor. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hit that like button if you did, subscribe if you're new. And at last, I would say stay well, stay safe, thanks. Click on the videos on your screen to see more amazing recaps like this.